physics. How did we come upon this belief, okay? And the answer is the first law, the laws of thermodynamics, physics. Anytime somebody argued that obesity is not caused by eating too much or sedentary behavior, it's not about calories, they are accused of not believing in the laws of physics. I'm constantly, there are always bloggers and reviewers who are saying I'm trying to refute the laws of thermodynamics. I'm saying they don't hold for humans. I was actually on, I don't know if you guys saw this, I was on the Larry King show and Jillian Michaels came on from California and she gave, a, gave me a lecture on thermodynamics on national television. You could watch this on YouTube and I was, I was literally speechless. I mean, I've got a, a physics degree from Harvard, okay? I, I was a lousy student, I was like a B minus student, I admit it, but I understand the laws of thermodynamics. <laughs> And I, I, don't, I don't even respond. I mean, I, what was I going to say? How do you defend yourself against this? And then we went to a break, and I turned to, um, to Mehmet Oz, who's sitting next to me, and I went, I can't believe it. I, you know, I used to date women like Jillian when I lived in Los Angeles, and now I'm getting lectures on national television from them. This is like some perverse revenge. For my <laughs> bad behavior as a youth. Um, she has done very well for herself, by the way, I have to say. Um, How did you lose the weight, Poppy? Uh, diet and exercise. It was exactly what you hear here today, except for me, I did actually have carbs. Not the white, refined, not the rice. The good carbs. I had the, the good carbs. carbs. I had the whole grains. I actually did have fruit. I apologize, but I did. <laughs> I had some melon. I know it's like cheating on your diet, but um, <laughs> when I did... So what about all the exercise that, that Poppy did? Well, exercise is essential to losing weight, just simply because weight is an energy equation. At the end of the day, Joy, the reason you're not losing weight on a low-carb diet is because you're probably eating too many calories. And protein can be converted to fat. But Gary says that uh, exercise makes you hungry, and so you eat more. Actually, I, I found that right? to be untrue in most cases. Exercise releases a series of different hormones, not just insulin. Do you, do you insulin remember is the concept of working up an appetite? <laughs> is that a Gary, if you can show me, Gary, if you can show me one person that you've taken 100 pounds off, then maybe uh, we can apply your theory. No, I but I'm not a diet I, doctor here. He's I'm not just a diet doctor. Say, I appreciate that, but see, see if you look the at thing. The, the actual evidence, when people do clinical trials, because again, she changed a lot of things. That's what we know. That's what she's taught us. She's changed her diet. She changed the way he, she ate. She exercised. All those things might have had an effect. But the question is, if you actually do a clinical trial where you randomize people to exercise versus, you know, a uh -huh. sedentary lifestyle, do you find that you can't show an effect from exercise? Wait a second. First of all, exercise actually releases serotonin and endorphins, which have been shown to decrease appetite. They release hormones like your thyroid hormone goes up, your estradiol goes up, your testosterone goes up, your HDH goes up. These hormones, not just insulin, are integral into controlling metabolism, body fat, and muscle mass. You, you are a scientist. You appreciate the fact that science must be applied for a theory to be proven true. Your theory falls short when applied practically because I've applied it. Okay. And she disagrees completely with you. She's going to... Lie, 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 lie,